Was there some of this uh, in the legend of the Holy Grail? Yes. Wolfram has a very interesting statement about the origin of the Grail. He says, the Grail was brought from heaven by the neutral angels. There was the war in heaven between God and Lucifer and the angelic hosts that sided one group with Lucifer and the other with God. A pair of opposites, good and evil, God and Satan. The grail was brought down through the middle, the way of the middle, by the neutral angels. What is the grail representing then? Well, the grail becomes the, what can we call it, that which is attained and realized by people who have lived their own lives. What that means is that the Christian separation of matter and spirit, of, uh, of the dynamism of life and the spiritual, natural grace and supernatural grace has really castrated nature. Of matter and spirit, of uh, of the dynamism of life and the spiritual, natural grace and supernatural grace has really castrated nature. And the, the European mind, the European life has been, as it were, uh, emasculated by this. The, the true spirituality, which would have come from this, has been killed. And then, what did the pagan represent? He was a person from the suburbs of Eden. He was regarded as a nature man, and on the head of his lance was written the word grail. That is to say, nature intends the grail. Spiritual life is the bouquet of natural life, not a supernatural thing imposed upon it. And so, the impulses of nature are what give authenticity to life not obeying rules come from a supernatural authority. That's the sense of the grail. And the grail that these romantic legends were searching for is the union, once again, of what had been divided? The peace that comes from joining? The, the grail becomes symbolic of an authentic life that has lived in terms of its own uh, volition, in terms of its own impulse system, which carries it between the pairs of opposites of good and evil, light and dark. Wolfram starts his epic with a short poem saying, every act has both good and evil results. Every act in life yields pairs of opposites in its results. The best we can do is lean toward the light, as they intend the light and what the light is is that of the harmonious relationships that come from compassion with suffering understanding of the other person this is what the grail is about